Welcome everybody to the Pop-Up Masterclass. I'm Professor Matthew Reinhardt, and you are all my students in, in learning how to make really cool pop-ups. And you know, this, this semester, we're gonna learn some, some secrets. I guess I'm going to give you some of my secrets. They aren't really secrets at all, actually. It's just about experimenting and figuring out how something works and you know, whatever. I don't, there's so much of what I do. I just wanna impart this information to everyone. Cause everyone, cause some people think that I actually have like these rules set up and everything. Like I don't, I don't. I mean, I know, I know some specific rules in making pop-ups, but in order to make something really cool, we have to break those rules. We gotta break them. And we gotta figure out new ways to make some of those mechanisms work. And so a lot of what I'm doing is working on some of those, those traditional methods uh, in paper engineering and tearing them apart. Yeah, people don't like to hear that. You gotta rip them and tear them and figure it back out again. So a lot of what I do is, is trial and error, just like when I'm shooting this video and it's crooked, crooked, no. Is that about right? What I do is just figuring it out on the fly. And so, um, and I, I, I definitely uh, encourage that with my students. I am not the end all beat all with information. I figure these weird mechanisms out and maybe you can figure out some other way, cool ways to do it too. But this is how I work it out in my really screwy brain. And I'm gonna share them with you. So I have a friend who's really amazing. His name is JP and he's also himself an incredible paper engineer. And um, he asked me about a certain mechanism that um, uh, uh, was in a book called, that I did, called Disney Princess, a magical pop-up world. Because, you know, inside, aren't we all a Disney princess? I know I am. Which one am I? Hmm, hmm. I, I like Ariel. All right. Let me tell you something. You, until you've heard me sing part of your world, you haven't lived. You really haven't. All right, here we go. Let's get started. This is the pop-up. Um, there's lots of cool pop-ups in here. Like there's one that I just especially love, this transforming um, Cinderella. She's like, bippity boppity boo. You know, and then she's, she's like, oh, I don't have a thing to wear. Oh, whatever shall I wear to the ball? And then you pull, see it says pull. Yeah. She changes. Oh, I look fabulous. I'm ready to go to the ball. Oh, maybe not. Oh, wait, there we go. Oh, so anyways, I love that pop-up, but that's not the pop-up he asked me about. I just can't help myself. I, every time I look at this book, I gotta go to that one. I love it. I love that movie. Good music. All right, let's go here. Here's the pop-up he asked about. Now, it's so tall that I can't even really keep it all on the, uh, in, in, in frame. But So here's what happens. It opens. Let's see if we can get it. It opens, and then it's super tall. It's the tower from... Uh, Rapunzel. There's Rapunzel. She's already climbed down. Look at her. She look, look at that. It's like, there I am. I'm down at the bottom now. I, I, I came down on my own hair. Creepy. So this pop-up that he's asking about, I th he was asking about how do we get this tower super tall? Well, what it is, it's kind of, it's another mechanism that I've sort of warped and made it work the way I want it to. But essentially, what this mechanism is, it's based on a V-fold riser, which is a very simple, which is not very simple, but it's relatively simple um, to learn. And then what we'll do is, maybe I should show you what a V-fold riser looks like first. Well, that's a good idea. Let's put this away. Let's go to a pop. In this book, the Jungle Book, isn't it interesting that I only show my books? Very interesting, huh? Anyhow. Uh, inside the Jungle Book, there is uh, quite a few uh, V-fold risers because I use them a lot early on in my career. I, I use them all the time. They're really great because a V-fold riser actually moves, um, you know, a large section upwards or downwards or sideways. But um, it, it is kind of two, uh, two V-folds uh, working together to make a sort of a platform section move upwards. So this this tiger here, Shere Khan, his head is actually on two V-folds. See, there's one V right there. And then there's another V right behind it. You can't see it. Let's see if I can look in there. You can kind of see in there. There's the other V right behind it. They're two um, of the same sort of V-shaped uh, pieces of paper. And they're glued to the, to the back here. This is the sort of platform here. And what it does, if you look, 
it moves that platform with all the pieces on top of the head, moves it upwards. And I use it a lot, actually. There, there's another one right here um, on the ground. If you look very carefully, let's see if I can get the light to see it. See that? There's that this V-fold right here. And there's another, there's supports underneath it that are also those Vs. And what it does is it, get out of the way there, Shere Khan. What it does is it moves this section of ground. See how it's down there and then it moves it up? It's very slight, but it, what's great about it is it can move a lot of different things and you can have stuff built on top of it. So it's a V-fold. This is a, a real V-fold riser right there. That's, that's the one that works on the rules that we know already. And if you don't know how to make a V-fold riser, you can go to one of the previous masterclass videos that I've done and check that out. Um, so those are V-fold risers, but we're making one that's kind of warped. We're making a, uh, this V-fold riser, well, not you. So we're going to make, I don't know what we should call this mechanism, this mechanism right here, not, not, not the one, this one here and that, see it back there? So what this is, this V-fold extender, we're gonna call it a V-fold, a double, let's see, it's gonna be called a double V-fold extender, three words. Double V-fold extender. Okay, I've got it. You got it? All right, and the reason why I call it that is because there are two V-folds that work together. This one right here, this piece here, and this V-fold right here. You can't really see it. See how it is there? That's the other V. And it makes this platform extend outward and upward. See how it extends outward and upward? See how that works? So I'm going to show you a way to figure out how to make one of those V-fold, double V-fold extender. You ready to get going? Let's do it. All right, so let's get started making this double V-fold extender. That's it, double V-fold extender. That's the name of it. I'm going to fold this first piece of cardstock. It's 110 pound cardstock. I typically use that. You can get it at any office um, supply store. So I'm going to fold it in half, and this is going to be our base page. And I'm going to use my pencil and a straight edge, and make sure that the center, uh, that center fold in our base page, is has, has a line that you can see out there. You don't have to. You don't have to do that. But this helps remind us to line up all our V folds symmetrically along that center V fold. B as neat as you can when you're making your v-folds don't add v-folds that are like slightly off or not not lined up properly because when you do um your your pop-up won't work correctly sometimes i work with different um whether they're my students or assistants and sometimes you know if, if it and i always tell them um make sure that you are as accurate as possible and then you have very clean um very clean attachments with tape and everything like that because otherwise your pop-up might not work quite right and it'll be messy and pieces will be flying all over the place. We don't want that. We don't want that. So next up, we're going to make, we're going to make the, um, the tented V-fold first that's going to stick on this base page. And you know what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make a marking on the base page just to start with a pencil. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one side. This is where... This is, this, this is the angle that I'm gonna have one side of my, my V-fold attached. And then I'm going to make sure that I make a, a mark of it on the opposite side. I'm just rubbing my fingernail on that paper as it's closed. And see, you can see a little bit of a line right there. That's just enough, if you ask me. Let's see, I'm gonna line it up. So that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's symmetrical on both sides. I got all these little tricks. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna make a tented V to stick on here and make our, our our extender. So let's take I don't know a piece of scrap paper. I'm gonna use this green piece, and I'm going to uh, fold it in half just on along this corner right here. And I'm just gonna cut it going r straight up, just like this. So we kind of have a rectangle. All right, we have this rectangle, it's folded in half. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just give it, I'm gonna snip off a little right there to give it an angle. And, and now, now we have our sort of tower 
Let us pull us down here. There. Hey, if everyone needs to see. So we have our tower here, and it's going to be, this is a tented V-fold. So far it is, right? And so let me attach it on one side. I'm going to attach it like this. And I'm going to use some one-sided tape. You can use masking tape, or this is artist tape. It's a little bit more expensive. And, um, but masking tape, you can totally use, and it's cheap. Um, try not to use plastic, like, you know, regular scotch tape, because sometimes the, the, the plastic tape will break much easier. This, you use masking tape or this artist tape or whatever, and it just works. And it, and it makes a hinge. This is a hinge right here. This fold here is a hinge. It, it makes a much more, because there's fabric in the, the tape, it's much more flexible and it will, it won't crack. Okay, so it's attached on one side. Now we wanna attach it eventually on this side, but I don't think I'm gonna start doing that yet. I'm just gonna figure out how we can make the V-fold uh, behind this by, by, by playing with this um, pop-up um, without putting it all together. So let's, let's um, here's how it will look. Of, let's actually, let's tape it on the opposite side just to see how this V-fold will work so far. Okay, because we can always take the tape off, right? That's what I do. I'm constantly like attaching things and reattaching the pop. All right, let's see, did I do that right? I'm a little off, just a tad. Sometimes uh, that's sticky and you close it, finds the right place, ta-da! So there is our tented V-fold that we just made, okay? It stands up, but we really want it to, to push upwards. I'm just looking at this and I'm wondering, is that what I want? Is that what I want? Yeah, let's give this a shot. Okay. So, I'm gonna unattach this. Unattach. I'm gonna detach. <laughs> I went to grad school, people. <laughs> so, um, I'm, I, this is what the pop-up will look like when it's closed. Like if we closed it, this is the position it will be in. I'm going to fold this upper area so that this edge is maybe perpendicular, or excuse me, parallel, parallel. I'm going to make this edge here be parallel to my center fold of my, my page. Something like that. So see now that's parallel to there. It doesn't have to be necessarily parallel, but I, I think it'll help with making this one. We'll see how it works. Now, I do want to warn everyone, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up, and now that we folded it there, we actually want that, the, those, that area to go inside um, this, these parts, and it's going to push upward, kind of like that. It's going to push. When it, when it opens, it's going to go from here to there, okay? So that's how that looks. Now the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna use my pencil and I'm just gonna mark, look at how I'm doing this. I'm gonna mark where this, this edge here is. And it's the center of our platform part of our uh, default there. I'm just gonna mark it so that I know kind of where it is and it's marked now and I'm just gonna use this. This is just for our own information. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take another piece of scrap paper, I'm going to make a rectangle. I'm going to make sure that this rectangle that I've just made, which is pretty close actually to a real rectangle, we're going to make sure that its height, that it's, you know, it's shorter than it is tall. We're going to make sure that this, that is taller than the distance from here to here, this distance. It is definitely taller. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some double stick and I'm going to put it on this edge. Oh, it's just kind of double stick it. You can also use glue if you really want to. I'm going to use some double stick here and I'm going to fold it over. This piece needs strength. And doubling it up like that will help increase the strength of this. And if you want, you can make sure you can use a ruler or something like that or this straight edge that I have. Use this to make sure all the edges are nice and um, are nice and straight. And everything is perpendicular and parallel. All those things. 
Oh, so nice. Oh, there we go. It's a real rectangle. I'm a real rectangle. All right. Now, this piece is going to attach. It's going to attach here and here, and it's going to help push up. It's hard to show you. Ooh. It's going to help push that up a bit. So we need to line it up so that this corner here, let's put it like that. This corner here goes to here. Somewhere along this line, it needs to, this corner needs to be somewhere aligned along this line. And then this corner here needs to somehow be aligned along this center fold right here. Now, like I said, we're gonna be experimenting. This may not work exactly the way I want it to. So we're gonna to have to be flexible with how things work and what we can do to make it work right, you know, and, and modify things. There is no exact science to this. We have to keep experimenting. That's what this job is all about. So I'm gonna tape it to the base page down here using some masking tape down at the bottom. Well, I kind of used a little too much. I'm just gonna cut that off. Sometimes I don't like to tape over that, that center line because uh, it can affect things. And then I'm gonna use another piece of, um, of this masking tape. And I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna stick it to the orange piece, sticky side up, and I'm gonna close it. Now you're gonna make sure that, let's see if we can see it. You're gonna make sure that this fold and this corner here, see that, that corner that we talked about? That that fold, they are exactly lined up. So that's what they are. It's closed and it's taped down. Now, this piece here is sort of a support strut, is gonna push this up. And we're gonna experiment and see if that's what we want, if that's gonna work for us. Now, and, and in, in, like, let's, see, well, let's get this tape back. We're gonna tape it to the base page. We're gonna see how it acts. We're just gonna close this up. Okay, let's see how that support strut works. Look, it definitely pushes up that piece, right? really does, but let's look in the back. Let's see what happens. Oh, it kind of bows a little, look at that. See how it's bowing, like, see that? Now that can be good to a certain point, but what we want is we want this piece to be straight because there's gonna be a, another one, a, a mirrored one right here. And if it's going like this, it's gonna be hard to have another mirrored piece going, it's gonna be hard to have another mirrored piece doing that. So, what will happen when we try to keep this piece straight, you're gonna see that this tape is gonna come up a little. And you're, you're probably thinking like, we don't want that, right, Matt? We don't want that, Professor Matt. That's Professor Matt to you. Um, but we do. We're gonna, cause we're gonna find a new angle that, that this orange piece is gonna have that's gonna attach here. So we're just, sometimes I use the tape as part of my tool to find new angles to, to build some of these mechanisms. So now, this piece will, this, this orange piece will stay a lot straighter if we change the attachment angle right here. And all I'm gonna do to fix that, I take a piece of orange cardstock and I'm gonna just sort of make a piece that could go right there. See how I did that? So now we're gonna build this piece, we're gonna have this piece with an addition right there where that hinge goes. I'm gonna add some double stick on the other side of that new little attachment piece. We're making, we're figuring out some, some, some new angles to make our double V-fold extender work properly. So I'm just gonna double stick this on in place. Make sure that our new piece doesn't go over that center, this edge here. Okay, let's see how this is working. Hmm, hmm, it's still bending quite a bit. Let's see, would it work? Is it, that's pretty good. Let's see what it looked like in the front. 
It does extend upwards pretty well. That isn't bad, I gotta say. That ain't too bad. You know what? Let's give it a shot. So let's, so now that we have this side, we need to make one that goes on the other side too. So let's um, very carefully, you can use scissors or you can use um, an X-Acto knife. You just very carefully cut that tape, that attachment. So I've cut the tape off. All right. And let's detach that too. And what we need to do is we need to make, um, we need to mimic this orange piece here. Let's see if I've got some scrap paper. Here we go. And I'm going to use, let's see there. I'm going to use um, just a pencil and trace it like this. I love using any scrap paper I have. It's, it's great. You know, you, not everything, uh, uh, you shouldn't throw out paper. Use as much as you can. Who cares if it's different colors, whatever, it's not perfect. But when you're just figuring your pop-up out in the beginning, if you got lots of scrap, use it. All right, so here is, I'm, I'm making another piece just like it, and I'm cutting it out along the edges here. Very good. Now, just like this, this side, I'm going to have to make a strengthener to go on top of it. So do I have some more scrap I can use? Yeah, that's fine. Your, your strengthener, as long as it goes the entire length, of this piece, it doesn't have to be the exact same size, like on width and everything, as long as you get some doubling up of paper. And remember, we're just playing around and figuring out how this mechanism is gonna work. When we're making, when I'm making a real pop-up, I have to rebuild it so many times over. So this is just the experimental, experimental side time um, of, of making a pop-up. And if the edges aren't, you know, like, see, this is cut here. All I'm going to do is just stick some paper or tape right there just to, to, to heal it up. Now I've got my second side. And this, what's going to happen is this is going to mirror kind of like this. So I'm going to use some tape. And I'm taping it down there. And I tape it down there. Let's flip it over. And what we're essentially doing is we're making a V fold. We've only made one side, we're making the second side. This, see, and then the way this will attach is something like this. It will attach on the base page something like, like that and move something like that. We've just made the second side. So there is one side, there's the other side. Let's, let's tape. So we've got our V-fold in place. Let's use some, some uh, more masking tape. We're gonna tape, we're gonna use it sticky side up and we're gonna uh, return it to its positioning right here on that side, just like that. Then we're going to tape this new side, this new um, side of the V-fold that we just built. Then I'm gonna tape it to the other side underneath here, this platform. And then, ooh, I'm going to add um, more masking tape to the base of the orange V-fold at the bottom base. And I'm also going to use this double stick that was there already and make sure it tapes to this side. And all I gotta do, flip it over. Turn over the, the base page and it finds, it finds its position if you do it right. And let's see how this works. Ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's getting so tall. We gotta, ooh, let's pull out. Okay, let's look at this thing. It actually works. It's kind of cool. So look at that. That is um, the double V-fold extender. And if we look at it from behind, you can see both of the V-folds working together. And what's weird about it is, I'm trying to show you, let's see. Well, Usually in a V-fold riser, this angle here, and we're gonna call that angle A. <laughs> angel. Real good spelling, really good. So that's angle A. 
and um, this one right here and that. And then there's angle B, which is right here. And they're not always the same. So these two angles may not be necessarily the same. And the V-folds, this area of the V-fold, this, this, this is not going to be the same as this, 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 and this. In fact, if you look, they're very, very different. One's, one's very tall compared to this one, which is much shorter. And there's also different angles happening up here, then down here, and down here, and down here. So there's a, we're, and we just experimented to see how that would work. We don't, I, I don't know, you have, you're gonna have to try a lot of different things in order to make this work properly. But um, this just happened to work out pretty well. Um, so there we are. And so we can then, if we want, now you're gonna see, with this pop-up, it will, you can't necessarily get the pop-up to open, well, I guess it does open almost 180 degrees, but you look, like when it, it's, it's a little tough to open it beyond kind of there. But it does work really well, like it really forces things upward. So you could build all kinds of stuff up here if you wanted to, and it fits within our base page. Look at how much that fits within our base page. Let's see how tall we can make that. All right, here we are, and this is our V-fold, our double V-fold extender. This is our double V-fold extender. It works pretty well, look at that. It's pretty cool. And what's great about it is we can make something that's really tall happening within our base page, look at that. So it's just like this little thing, and then kablammo, it gets really tall. And we've got a lot of room to make something super tall because this, this platform piece is the piece that goes upwards, upwards. So we've got a lot of room to make that tall. So let's take a piece of cardstock over here. I think I'm gonna use this purple, it's pretty. It's so pretty. And I'm gonna um, just use my, my straight edge here. You know, you don't have to have like a metal straight edge like this if you don't have one in, 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 your, in your workspace. You can also use the edge of another piece of paper like this, and you can use that as your straight edge. See, see, cheap and easy ways to make pop-ups. Eh? I love sharing those little gems with you, right? So we need one rectangle, and I'm gonna make a second rectangle. I'm using my X-Acto knife. You could also just use, cut your, with your scissors, make a mark. But we want two rectangles here. And I'm gonna show you how tall we can make our pop. So I'm gonna use some double stick tape. And I'm going to attach one of the rectangles, just like this, right along I'm gonna make sure that edge right there is lined up. There's one side. Let's do the other side. This has been a hard pop-up to explain to you. You don't know how many bad takes I have done. So many bad, because it's just like the kind of thing where you really have to experiment and, and, and it's hard to like put into words how some of these things go together. Sometimes it's just me figuring it out. So I don't, that I don't have a step-by-step, -step. so sometimes if I'm at a loss for words when I'm showing you how to do something, just follow what I do and don't listen to the nonsense, unless I say, you know, and it, it, sometimes I say something right, but sometimes it's just watch what I do and, and try it yourself. Don't be afraid to experiment and to fail. You need to fail because um, uh, then you figure out, well, hopefully you'll be inspired to, to, to not fail and you keep trying and you keep doing different things. I mean, that's what all of the work that I do is about. It's, there's so much trial and error. Um, most of it, I would say that 50% of it, um, at least, is error. And I throw it out and I keep working. So right now what I just did was I, I added these two rectangles to make um, this platform piece taller. And then I, I uh, taped it down the middle here so that they could be attached. It's kind of what I'm doing is I'm just extending this top of the green piece just up that way. All right, so let's close it and see. Wow, okay, so look at that, look at that. So we have our base page here and it's really, it fit inside pretty well, don't you think? And then we open it up and kawajow. Look at that, it's just like, holy, 
Holy cannoli, look how tall that gets. Close. I mean, I can't even fit it in the, let's do it sideways. <laughs> look how tall that gets. So, let, okay, let's, let's measure it and see. So, so where's, my, where's my little plastic ruler? Where is it? Okay, let's see how tall this is. This base, this base page, this, this height here is eight and a half by five and a half. Now let's see how tall this pop-up gets. Wow, look at that. The pop-up is 14 inches tall. That's 14 inches tall. That fit within that eight and a half inch card height card. Look at that. So that's what's, that can be really great about making a pop-up like this. It gets really tall. Now, some of the issues you're going to find is when you open this pop-up, it won't, it will want at the bottom to tear up. What I would suggest doing to keep it down on the page is use some more masking tape and tape it on the opposite side. So I'm, I'm making sure it's in place. Sometimes you have to kind of look around and look inside there deep. And I'm gonna add some tape going this way. This will help sort of stabilize it onto the base page. Let's do that on both sides too. Let's do it over here. So now we have this really tall pop-up coming out of this small card. And I think what I'll do, let's see, what can we turn this into? Well, we can, we can build all kinds of stuff up on top of this if we want. But it will be a little less um, it won't be as strong because it's so far away from the base page. So you gotta be careful. Don't, don't add too much stuff up here. Um, you could maybe add more down in this lower part because the struts, these, these struts back here will help push it open. But if we add too much up here, it won't work well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna close this. I'm gonna peek inside. And I'm gonna, hmm, I like to do this. I love to peek inside my pop-up and then when it's, when it's all assembled and closed. And I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, let's see, maybe I'll, I'm just gonna cut it right here. All right, so we have a little bit more of a shape, just like that. Or maybe what I'll do is I'll do it this way. Yeah, that's even better. Don't be afraid to, paper is really resilient most of the time. I mean, you can't drop it in the bathtub, but you know, you can, you can flatten things and you can play with it and, and try to see how it works and, and, and move the, and change things. Okay, so we're starting to see what that could be. And let's see, I'm going to, hmm, what should I make and turn that into? Wow, that is, talk about your 3D action right there. Um, really cool uh, mechanism. It's not an easy one to put together, so it's definitely for my more advanced pop-up students. But wow, uh, what a cool lesson. Um, and um, I, I really enjoyed sharing it with everyone here. Um, so that's it for today. And so students, stay tuned for, stay tuned, 
That's the rare I'm pointing to you. Stay tuned for more pop-up masterclass lessons in the near future. Um, if you had fun, be sure and hit like or subscribe. Um, and um, that's it for today. So have fun. Make some really cool pops. And if you want, show them to me down in the comments and we'll, we'll check them out. Maybe. And if you have any ideas for future shows, let me know. And um, we'll, we'll try to get to that lesson next time. All righty. Take care. Bye. Oh, yeah. And keep it popping.